Have you ever wanted to use your movement to dodge multiple attackers, multiple incoming attacks while you're in the heat of the combat? Have you ever wanted to use your movement to mix up your approach and mix up your play style on your opponents while you also upgrade your awareness on the battlefield? Have you ever wanted to use your movement to intimidate your opponent into fear? Fear where they don't know whether to react or run and every attack that they throw is useless and pointless. I mean, what would you do if you seen somebody do this to you, right? Well, that's what I'm here to help with, boys. I'm here to teach you guys about movement. Let's get into it. It's the right Kage, baby. And today, we're going to be talking about movement in the Naruto to Barto Shinobi Striker. Now, I know everybody got their movement videos out. But me, I'm here to bring you guys some new advanced techs. That's going to allow you to really cancel and combo up your opponents, mixing up the combos, man, and upgrading you on the battlefield. I'm teaching you how to upgrade your movement so you can dodge and avoid multiple attackers without actually having to flee the entire battlefield and leaving your boys hanging. You know what it is, man. You know what to do. Subscribe if you're new. Drop a like on this video. This video took hella time to make. And I will greatly appreciate it, y'all. But without any more time wasted, I just take you boys down to the dojo and get into some movement with the movement god of the Shinobi Striker community, the Raikage, baby. Let's get into it. <laughs> All right, first things first is jump canceling. This is going to be the staple of all canceling. This is going to help you move around the map. Now, what you're seeing here on the screen is just a regular jump. And as you can see, you put your hand down on the ground, which gives you a huge lag animation. This is what you want your jump to kind of look like. That's the spot. Pop out of that animation without any lag, without any lag time landing on the ground. As you can see, my character is instantly jumping out of that landing animation. So this is the jump cancel. You're canceling the jump, the landing animation of your jump. So I'm going to pull this controller up and let you guys see exactly what I'm doing here. So as I jump, you can see I click the block right as I land on that animation. So right here, I land with the block and the jump and I reset, cancel, and then I reset that jump. And I cancel that animation again right there. So right as you're landing down, you want to cancel that animation. And I just want to show you that I call this out of combat movement. So you could just use this, to bounce around the map and just get places really quick. You're gonna be moving around with just jumps. No more bot walking, you know what I mean, boys. All right. Next up, we got advanced jump canceling. Now, I like to call this in combat movement. As you can see, it's basically the same exact thing, but you're gonna wanna add your chakra jump to this cancel, you know? So this allows you to get like a swift dodge off the ground, but at the same time, it kind of, pops you up it pops you further it pops you it's like a it's like a dash forward into the air so this is in movement in combat movement it allows you to change its many directions next we have step blocking now some people like step blocking what the hell is that i never heard of it this right here step blocking like you just take the step jump air and block step jump air block step jump air block and this is it is highly important for multiple enemies so let me show you guys right here on the controller. Right as we land, we just push the chakra jump and jump. We're holding our block and we just cancel the landing animation with chakra jump and jump as we hold block this time. So there you go. Next up, we have wall running. Now this 
is going to be used for that flag battle. You got that flag on your back and you can't run too fast. This is what you're gonna wanna do, boys. You wanna hop up on that wall. This, this will help you move around the map faster, period, with or without a flag, you know what I mean? But this, definitely useful for flag battles. So let's check out what we're doing here. Right as we land on the wall, we're holding down our block and then we're tapping our X. We're tapping. So we're just holding down our block and tapping our X. Now the reason why it's a little funny because these walls have these like trees vines growing out of it from the culture. So if that happens, you might have to push block to reset yourself to the wall. There you go. That is like the basic. Next up, we got attack or charge canceling. This right here will allow you to cancel the charge animation when you've already kind of got stuck into attacking. Now, this is the part that is very highly important. If your circle is not dark red, then you will not be able to charge and do this animation. So you need to make sure your circle is red and then you'll be good to go. You'll be able to cancel in any direction and almost basically after any attack, if time right. If time properly, you'll be able to do it in many, many successions and intimidating your opponents and confusing and also dodging projectiles, making them miss, which allows you to punish attacks. So go ahead, check this out. What we're doing is we're going in, we charge, and then we cancel with our chakra jump so i'm gonna slow it down here charge and we cancel with the chakra jump we charge in cancel with the chakra jump so there's a charge cancel with the chakra jump now as you can see i got really really close there so yeah you can get really close and cancel that charge. you know so if you can't really cancel that charge when you're really close then you're just your timing is off and you need to get better so practice this. This is highly important, especially in 1v1 situations. Next and finally, we're gonna be talking about the Kimura Kage step. That's right, I called it the Kimura Kage step. Some people are like, what are you talking about? That's not what it's called. Yes, I, I, I know, I don't care. I'm, I'm gonna name it because I feel like I kind of mastered it, you know. So the Kimura Kage step right here, this is a ninjutsu canceling technique. This is a new movement technique that most people really just don't look upon. So here it goes, showing you guys right here on the controller again, you know what it is. Showing you exactly how I do it and how I get down. I do wanna leave this little tip, little note. You do not have to hold chakra jump. You can just use your block and your ninjutsu cancel at the same time and you will be able to do this. The reason I hold the chakra jump and the block and everything is because I still step block when I fight and I still do the advance, you know, jump canceling when I fight. So I make sure I just have everything ready while I'm fighting. And this is the Kimura Kage step. As you can see, I'm picking a direction while I'm pushing R1 is my ninjutsu that I'm canceling. And when I push R1, I cancel with the direction, cancel with the direction, cancel with the direction. So it's highly, highly important that you learn about the dodging mechanisms in the game. So like when you're close to an opponent, you could get really close and then say you dodge backwards, but your character kind of dodges forward. That's because Shinobi Striker's dodging animations are different when your character is in a different position than standing face forward. So here goes the ninjutsus that you guys can do this with.